<laughs> Hello, I'm the Zombie J, and that dragged on probably too long. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> with three mocks already reviewed, I got two more for y'all today, and then I'm done. So, well, then I gotta get back to building, <laughs> and, uh, you know, with the five mocks that I have here built last night, uh, and of course with the mocks I have on the floor ready to be shelved, I got a lot to put on a shelf, and yet I don't have a shelf to put them on, so they're just standing on the floor over there in front of the other two. Um, but I am getting in a shelf unit to build. Yes, I have to build it. Um, soon. I don't know how soon, but soon. And it'll come in at some point, I will build it, and I have to, you know, do some rearranging and whatnot in order to shelve the mocks. But, yeah, that's gonna take a while. So, um, yeah. But for now, feast your eyes on Alita. Yeah. Actually, this is another... Oh, she doesn't have, Even though she doesn't have wings... Actually, no, I think she's a completely other um, character. I don't know. Um, but this is Alita, named after Alita from Alita Battle Angel. No, I still haven't watched the OVA anime thing, and I still haven't watched the damn uh, film, which I heard was, for the most part, good. So, um, this is definitely another sort of inspired build. You know, I was inspired by sort of samurai... Um, things, and I was also inspired by magical girls, which are cool, I think, you know, samurais are cool, magical, magical girls are also cool, um, you know, from, you know, uh, Maho Shoujo or whatever, uh, Madoka Magica, stuff like that, you know, which I've never watched, but I've seen, uh, still shots and whatnot, and it's like, I could totally uh, take inspiration from that, and so I did. So, uh, first, obviously, with uh, uh, Toa Maku, I decided to incorporate some Magical Girl stuff uh, into that mock, and, well, I did so with this one as well. So, this is obviously a character... Um, well, I wanted to build a golden character, you know? Not, not like the gold-skinned being... Um, or anything like that, gold skin paraka or whatever. That's kind of stupid. Um, I wanted a female Toa. And here we go. She is... I guess you can say she's a light character. Um, but honestly, the only Toa of light everybody knows about is Takanufa. And then there's Akimu. <laughs> Game of the Mask Maker from 2016, but ignoring both of those, this is definitely a light character. Um, so, first off, I want to talk about the weapon, because this uh, ran me through a number of hoops trying to get this uh, built right, to get this aesthetic, you know. Obviously, I use these two samurai sword uh, weapons. I was going to have these as, you know, individual swords that she's holding. But, unfortunately, ideas were made. Ideas were spiraling in my head, and so I decided to do this instead. I found this little uh, piece that you see in Brain Attack. Also, um, have this little golden spear piece, which you get from Golly Master. Um, and, of course, I used this Mystica uh, turbine piece. Three long with a bushing. And this is the uh, pommel. Um, simple, but effective. And, uh, these little barbs. Now, if you want to build this exact, uh, sword, it's pretty fucking easy. So do it. Go ahead, I implore you. Take this design and make it your own. Actually, I don't know if I'm the first one to actually create this, but I like the look of it. It looks great. It definitely, you know, matches the rest of the character with all these fucking golden barbs here and there. She's got two on her feet, one on each ankle. Um, these feet definitely are, well, they've seen better days. They've got some black sharpie on them. Her legs are simple, you know, with the five longs. This one's a little miscolored than the other three, but whatever. Uh, you got these uh, little uh, blade pieces that are attached. Um, she does have 
in terms of magical girl aesthetics, she does have this kind of setup again uh, with the Mystic Eclopius. Obviously, she has some more attachments here and there with the uh, golden barbs. Yes, there's her butt. Um, she does have the uh, golden barb piece on either side of here as well. So this is kind of an over-designed piece, I'd say. I don't know. Um, then this... I felt like that was necessary in order to achieve, you know, the wavy pattern that this is. Um, CCBS four long right there for no reason because back armor. That's why uh, the torso armor is well a four long <laughs> CCBS shell in trans blue. Uh, I couldn't tell you which trans blue. It's it's the one found on a key move. There you go. Um, and obviously, you know, this uh, torso. Um, armor that's uh, for the uh, uh, 2015 Bionicle sets and of course she has boobs she does have on her boobs uh, those barbs on either side for some sort of gap fillage I guess you could say um, arms she does have um, well silver fists because silver uh, trans blue uh, lower arms as well as, you know, these spiked uh, shells with the barbs. More barbs right there as well on that uh, three long, uh, three sized shell. Pauldron piece. Um, and it's kind of, you know, um, I kind of like the, uh, you know, the asymmetry of this. And if you thought Epitaph was very asymmet asymmetrical, look at this. This is asymmetry asymm that is pleasing in my opinion. You know, you got one pauldron right here. Um, with the silver barb and this silver barb, tiny barb, oh, that's an old one too. Um, obviously that's got Sharpie on it, but hey, it's a cool design. I like the look, I love the look of this character. She looks awesome. She does have the CCBS head uh, with a modified, um, protector mask in, um, you know, the gold fading to the trans blue. Um, bent those back because why not? <laughs> Don't worry, the mask gimmick still works. Somewhat. Um, clips in place. Articulation wise, well, she's got all the articulation you need, so she keeps running into her one boob. Um, so, the articulation is nothing special. She can do all kinds of fun things with her. Uh, articulation and whatnot, uh, head moves, obviously. I'm trying to pop off the fucking mask. Um, you can do a high kick, yeah. Um, so, you can get her in some wicked poses if you dare. And, uh, yeah. That is Alita the female Toa of Light is what I'm going to uh, yeah so actually you know what I don't know <laughs> I'll probably have it decided by the um, by you know by the time I upload this fucking video so um, you know what she is a Toa of Light a female Toa of Light yeah, that's awesome. She's got this awesome sword. I mean, look at the sword. You want to use the sword? Go ahead. Use these in silver. Use all the parts in silver if you want to make an all silver fucking uh, sword. Because this exists in silver, I think. This obviously exists in silver. These exist in silver. And everything else exists in silver. Except for this piecing, which is in gunmetal. Um, but yeah, I, lo I love the look of this character. She looks awesome, don't you think? Let me know in the comment section below. So yeah, that is Alita, named after a character from an anime OVA that I still haven't watched yet. Same thing with the uh, live action film. So, yeah. Alita, Toa of Light. She's pretty cool. Flashy, sort of. I mean, yeah, yeah, looks awesome in my opinion. Put you over there. Okay, 
I got one more mock for you, and then I'm done for now. Then I gotta get back to building, so there you go. So, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more mock reviews. I'm the Zombie J. I'll see you folks. Have a good fucking day, and peace.